I am Vaibhav Sankrit. I am 12 years old and a student at the Cathedral and John Curran School, Mumbai. The world is changing very fast and technology and nature are going to create disruptions. We are used to watching movies of a type from Shole to DDLJ to Bahubali and even movies like The Avengers and the DCEU movies. Visualize the change. Tomorrow will be very different and I am presenting my ideas in the form of a movie. Tomorrow's movie could be very different. Thank you very much for encouraging me. Do spend 20 minutes in watching my vision of tomorrow with limited experience. In the past 30 years, humanity has gone zoop up in technology. Almost everything online today was built. The internet, more efficient cars, and even the iPhone. This is what I refer to as the modern technological era. This is where technology took off from originally. And today we have so many things. We are literally wrapped in technology. This fascinating journey is just a part of what humanity will reach in the next 30 years. Have you got it? Today we will be going through humanity's journey from today to 2050. So let's get started. Today, we have the technology to do expensive surgeries, highly professional editing softwares, 3D printers, which is sometimes used to teach children, direct air capture, I've even made a video on this, the metaverse, 3D games, 3D movies as well, and VR glasses. There is an uncountable list this way, and we have already progressed so much. Then think what will happen by the time we reach 2050. Twenty thirty will be a big jump. This era of eight years will really grow the AI, artificial intelligence, and begin the making of robots. Any new invention happening in this time may or may not have a very long lasting effect. This will be the prime time start of robotics in its rise. Seventy percent of the people would be connected to the internet. Driverless cars will cover the earth. There will be driverless drones as well. These are being built right now. Cloud computing will be available. There will also be augmented reality smart glasses. The NFT crypto blockchain could have gained much more popularity. Terabyte internet speeds would be commonplace. And for those of you who do not know what a TB is, that is approximately 1024 GB. Not kidding. Now, we skip to 2040, by when, without technology, you almost cannot survive. This will be one of the most advanced years humanity has ever seen. Data will be the king. AI-independent industries and organizations will require vast amounts of data to operate efficiently and competitively. It will open up 
access, privacy, ownership, and control of data as increasing conflict. Break the grading interface will be available. The use of such a sensor would greatly increase the range of communications that is provided through a BCI, Ethics of Autonomy. AI's development and the level of human involvement in decision making will continue to raise ethical concerns and perspectives on ethical obligations which will differ globally. Organ printing is likely to be possible. I mean, if you can print buildings by 2035, then why not? organs by 2040 and i'm not saying one i'm saying multiple organs electric vehicles will become the majority fuel and petrol cars will be obsolete people will think you're old-fashioned That was the journey so far, but 2050 will be the most, most, most advanced year that humanity has ever seen. I mean, it's gonna take forever to explain, so let's get started. By this point, everybody knows that iPhones will be obsolete. Regarding so many things that will have come up, most people would be using smart cards, replacing iPhones completely. They would be your credit card, your debit card, your voice caller your phone messenger, music player, and your verification card. 100% of the population will be online. Buildings will be completely made of 3D printing. And smart cities are emerging in certain regions on this planet, even right now. By 2050, nobody knows how many smart cities would have been made. These smart cities will connect vehicles to roads that will have a central network that will trace the locations in the real time. VR glasses will replace laptops and computers, just like smart cards. These are glasses that give you life-size imagery that is somewhat similar to the imagery given by games of the VR headsets that we have today. Hyperloop tunnels will enable fast international travel. These pods travel at a speed of 600 to 700 miles per hour. They also reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 90% and due to the time that they save, they can make an annual profit of over $1 trillion a year. Virtual assistants would have largely replaced search engines. For example, Google, Siri, Alexa, just 10 times more powerful and accurate. The average person will have access to quantum computing technology. Tech companies have offered this with cloud services with a moderate to high cost. Personal computers and servers also contain hybrid of classical and quantum computing technology. Well, this was how humanity could reach the era of technology. But the most significant part is robots and AI. The era of technology will be incomplete without robots. Robots will control almost everything except for the human life. Robots will take over all very simple tasks and those tasks which require repetition. Maybe they'll even do coding one day. But these jobs include building buildings as we discussed earlier as housekeepers, 
not just in hotels, but in your own homes. Book writers, by analyzing previous hit books and creating conclusions, hospitals will be overdriven and ran by robots. This is a huge disadvantage, which leads us to the disadvantages. The disadvantages include climate change, food and water crisis, the low employment rates, and high prices. Well, if you know about my YouTube channel, you know I have a lot of videos about climate change. Example, climate change is the most disastrous change ever. Climate change refers to long-term shifts in the temperature and the weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels. The best example of climate change are the real hot summers of Mumbai. If you live in Mumbai, you know the kind of conditions there are. And just think at this rate, what will happen by the time we reach 2050? With the growing population, we have to feed 10 billion people in 2050. And I don't think there will be enough food or water for every single one. After all, a lot of land is being inhabited and is becoming lesser and lesser fertile for the farmers. As for salty water, we all know that we cannot use it as it comes from oceans and seas. So what do we do? Earth only has enough to satisfy every human's needs, not every human's greeds. People need to remember that. There are lots of job opportunities for everyone. But if humans can create one robot that works perfectly well and humans have the resources, then they can create millions more. So this means that there will be a shortage of jobs in highly technological and advanced cities in 2050. As with a population of 10 billion people, food, water, technology, everything's price will go up because there is going to be more demand. For Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibilities. For humans, with great technology comes great consequences. There is only one way in which humanity can evolve up to 2050. That's to maintain a good climate by planting more trees and burning less fossil fuels. I need your support in planting trees through my YouTube channel, Natural World. Subscribe to my channel and join hands with me in planting trees. Thank you. Uh, guys, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go!